draw attention actually to the website because this is the year of rapidly, rapidly changing technology for us. And I'm going to cover a little bit of that. But um, this piece was uh, delivered to us today and I just, I just want to draw attention to it because I'm a branding person, I'm a communications person, and I was so excited to see this because when you open it up, it perfectly mirrors what we have on our web page. And for all of the staff and consultants who were involved in this project, I'd just really like to congratulate you on this. I know it's a growing project, it's ongoing, but um, from someone who works in communications, I'm just very, very, very pleased to be uh, associated with an organization that does a wonderful job like this. So, bravo, Cheryl, bravo. <laughs> now, as I said, the, the past 12 months have brought many changes to Skills for Change. Uh, as you probably remember, we began our, uh, our year in a hiring mode. Our long-term executive director, Jane Cullingworth, uh, left Skills uh, for Change in September 2010 and just after last year's AGM, and uh, she's currently in Scotland. Now our new ED, Cheryl uh, May, joined, us, um, joined many of us for the first time at last year's AGM. And um, you know, standing in this room a year later, I can't believe that the year has gone by so quickly. Uh, we certainly lived up to our name this year in, uh, in a year of phenomenal change. The organization has utilized its resources to navigate and thrive in the areas of program building, organizational realignment, brand building, and communications. We have strengthened our board complement and revised our bylaws and letters patent to ensure that they reflect our commitment to supporting the strong mission and vision of the organization. We have developed strong terms of reference for our board committees to ensure strong oversight of organizational finances and governance. We're working to develop board sustainability to ensure that Skills for Change will have a solid and inspired leadership for years to come. We do this because we recognize the need to prepare for the future. And if we truly believe that our collective future, that is, the future for all of us in this room, and well beyond this room's physical boundaries, is a Canada where every immigrant succeeds, then we need to have a collectively strong commitment to ensure that our vision becomes reality. Throughout the organization this year, we have committed to our vision of the future. Cheryl and her team have introduced social technology and social media that dramatically augments our ability to connect with our target audiences. The website is a, is a very good example, and it's wonderful. Oh, it was moving a little uh, <coughs> earlier, but the ticker that goes along here is just brilliant. And any of you who have been on the new Facebook in the last couple of days, it's much better than the new Facebook ticker, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Our new website and our online presence will strengthen Skills for Change's uh, role in the delivery of innovative, relevant programs to internationally trained professionals, and it'll also garner the attention we need to move forward in a meaningful way. And we're strengthening, literally, our bricks and mortar. If you're a frequent visitor to Skills for Change or you work here, you see the change the moment you walk in the door, and I'm sure, you, I'm sure that you know where I'm going with this. Our new stairs and our entrance area, the first place visitors see when they come to 791, that area has been spruced up significantly. And while I've always considered that Skills for Change is a very safe and comfortable place to be, I certainly feel a lot safer coming up those stairs when I visit the building. <laughs> Happily, the building improvements haven't stopped there. This year, Skills for Change received approximately $191,000 from the Trillium Foundation to use towards capital projects. We're committed to making the building more energy efficient. Um, we're looking to upgrade the space and redevelop it for things like social enterprise initiatives. Our new locations and initiatives continue to reflect immigrant settlement trends throughout the GTA. In Brampton, in Thorncliffe, and now in York Region, Thanks to continuing funding and much hard work, we're able to deliver relevant, valuable training and settlement resources that our clients want and need. And we'll continue to adapt to shifting immigration and employment needs and trends. We have seen cuts to and closures of agencies that support newcomers to Canada. We hear media reports that criticize our immigration system as being less than responsive to the needs of the Canadian economy. Immigration has been perhaps the hottest topic in the weeks before our provincial election. 
that skills for change can thrive in such an environment speaks to its innovation in anticipating and responding to our client and community needs. But it's up to us to keep that conversation going, only through public attention, constant public attention and thoughtful policy development will Canadian citizens better appreciate the value in providing immigrant training and settlement for those individuals coming to Canada ready and willing to contribute and succeed. Let's continue breaking down barriers to immigrant success and in turn provide meaningful opportunities to support economic growth. This simply makes sense. When we help one, we all benefit. So as I complete my term as board chair, I'm confident that Skills for Change will remain strong and vital and relevant. Our team continues to develop strategic initiatives and frameworks that will continue to serve us in the future. We are focused and mindful of the enormous tasks at hand. Our Canada is indeed a Canada where every immigrant succeeds. Thank you very much. Let me tell you a little bit about Catherine. Catherine has an extensive history of supporting and recognizing newcomers through Skills for Change. In the early 1990s, Catherine recognized the need to build bridges for newcomers to find employment. As the then marketing manager at CGA Ontario, Catherine responded to the growing need by establishing a partnership with Skills for Change and developed learning opportunities where newcomers could obtain their accounting certifications. Through the STIC program, Catherine provided personalized counseling to newcomers and supported them through the often complicated process of obtaining Canadian certification. And Maya, who is uh, left on leave tonight, um, remembers Catherine with us for many, many years as an important mentor and volunteer. So Catherine's really part of the DNA of this organization, helping newcomers successfully integrate into Canadian society, recognizing their extraordinary contributions and achievements is at the core of Catherine's volunteer efforts. Catherine was the key organizational champion in forming a senior partnership between CGA Ontario and Skills for Change's New Pioneer Awards. Today, and in large part due to Catherine's extraordinary efforts, the awards have celebrated 19 years of, of recognizing the significant contributions made by immigrants to Canada. We're looking at tw the 20th annual awards uh, this year, and Catherine's been all the way uh, a core part of, of putting that together. Thank you. It's going to be an exciting year this year. And you're going to be there. Catherine will do what she can to make a positive difference at all levels. She was a New Pioneer com uh, Awards Community Service Selection Team member for several years and currently sits on the New Pioneers Awards Steering Committee. Through her 10 years of tireless volunteer work, uh, Catherine has championed and shared the success of more than 100 recipients who in turn have reached thousands across the province in the areas of community service, science and technology, education, the arts and youth. Um, Catherine has provided outstanding leadership uh, to the immigrant employment and settlement sector. We've had the privilege of having Catherine as a volunteer board member since 2007 and as our elected board chair since 2009. Catherine has demonstrated a high caliber of organizational leadership and a great degree of integrity in the areas of strategic direction, policy formation and board and organizational governance. Catherine's vision as a leader has always been to ensure that the agency remains relevant uh, to the needs of the community it serves. The result of her board leadership is demonstrated in all of the agency's accomplishments and in assisting tens of thousands of newcomers to find meaningful work and ultimately make Canada their home. Catherine, you've made my first year phenomenal. You've been a great support and I know you're very important to Jane. So this isn't goodbye, it's just a change in roles and um, thank you so much for such an amazing service. Do you want to